Good morning, grade leaders. Did you know that you are only as strong as your worst habit? So think about it. What's your worst habit? We all have them. Do you want to change that? Do you want to eliminate the bad habit and replace it with some good habits? Are your business habits serving you? And that's the real question that we want to look at is what are our habits and how are they serving us? I read this really interesting book, which um, I completely recommend, but it's lots of pages, See? lots of pages. The bottom line is we all have cues, we have routines, and we have rewards. So what we want to be sure to do is acknowledge our cues, change our routines, or strengthen them if it's a good habit, and then acknowledge the reward. For example, if your habit is to uh, do booking a calls, texts, communications at 7 p.m. every evening and then that's your routine and then, and you don't reward yourself for doing that. Let's say you give yourself a half an hour every night. Well, if you don't reward yourself, that habit might fall apart. If your habit is to, at 7 p.m. every night, go sit on the couch and watch TV, where's the reward? Is the reward watching TV. Is that good? Are you happy with that? If you want to change that habit, you need to create a routine and change the reward. I know it sounds really simplistic, but if you really look at what's going on, we all have the same 168 hours a week. It's our habits. That's the difference. Successful people have different habits than unsuccessful people, than people who fail consistently, and people who would work really hard and still don't see the results that they want. So I'm asking you to look at your cues, your routines, and your rewards. And I think that you might find some interesting facts there for you to work with. Uh, the other thing that you want to really be aware of is that nobody succeeds without a plan. So even if it's a little tiny, annoying habit, it's not really killing you. It certainly maybe it doesn't serve you, but it's not really that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. If you don't have a plan, you won't change it. And sometimes it's so much easier to start with one habit. You lose your keys all the time. The one habit would be to place them in the same spot every time you come in the house. But you need a plan. You got to find that place. You need a plan. So my challenge to you this week is to take a look at your habits and see which ones are serving you and which ones aren't and select one, just one, to work on. And I would love to hear from you and hear about your results and interesting things that happened this week. Signing off. Talk to you soon.